understand we, understand we may be having a problem with the live stream this morning. This morning. Don't know, know what the, what problem, the problem is. is. It says it's, it's working, and some, some people, people say that it's not working. So I'll have to do some more, more investigation, investigation on that, that this afternoon, afternoon or tomorrow. Well, the team, but anyway, as I said, it's good to see all of our visitors out and enjoy being with, with us. And since, and since we do, we do have visitors not only today, today but every, every day, day when, we when we come together to worship, Simply, simply offer a challenge, challenge to those who are, who are not, not familiar with, with the Church of Christ. Christ. If, you, if you, you see something, hear something, or don't understand something, understand something that we do with our services, we want, we want you, to you to ask us so that, so that we can provide, provide for you a Bible answer. answer. Because, because we believe that we should, should do all things, things according, according to, to the Word of God in our worship, worship service so, so that we might worship Him, as the Scripture says, in spirit and in truth. We're, We're continuing, continuing our journey through the book of John today. Today's, today's text takes us to John, John chapter 16. As we, As we want to examine, examine the subject, the subject Jesus, Jesus, the great the gift giver. giver. Here it, Here it is, is in these chapters, chapter, beginning chapter, chapter 14, all the way to chapter, chapter 16. Jesus, Jesus is giving comfort and teaching some truths to, to the apostles and the other disciples, disciples because he is soon to be leaving, leaving their presence. presence. And so, and so as they venture out from the upper room, room Jesus, Jesus again here in chapter, chapter 16, 16 teaches more valuable truths. I don't have time this morning, morning to go into every single truth, truth that, that he, he teaches, teaches them, them in this passage. passage. And, I and I believe, and hopefully, hopefully you will agree with, with me, that his, his teaching, teaching is needed because of the distress. distress. I don't, I don't know, know, and I don't, I don't believe, believe that the disciples there understood, understood totally, totally what, what Jesus was meaning when he was says he was going to be going, 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 going away. And so, and so in, this in this particular section of John, John 16, Jesus, Jesus is telling them of the great gift of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And I, and I, I don't, I don't have, have this in my notes, but, notes, but it just started to, 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 to wear on me to think, to think about. about. You know, we, you know, we consider, consider Jesus, Jesus the great gift giver. We understand, we understand the greatest, the greatest gift, gift that he ever gave was his, was his life. life. Would you agree with that? that? But, the but the second of the great gifts was the sending of the Comforter that would lead us into all truth, truth. that would lead us into an ability to understand and to be obedient to God so that heaven would be our home after a while. So as you, so as you think, think about the title of the lesson, Jesus is the great gift giver. Let's, Let's share some, some thoughts about, about this great, great gift. gift. And this, and this lesson, lesson is not to totally go into how the Holy Spirit works. That's, that's a lesson for another day. And, and we can look at several, several different things. things. Each of the things I'm going to mention this morning probably could be developed into a lesson of themselves. But Joe Jonah read for us beginning in John 16, verse 7. He read down through verse 12. Now notice, now notice with, with me, me, I'll read verse 13 down through verse 15. Where it says, however, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all true truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take care of what is mine and declare it to you. All the things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take care of mine and declare it to you. First of all, this morning, let us look at the worth of the great gift. Jonah read from verse 7. He says, it is to your advantage that I go away. And I am sure, sure that, that that statement puzzled, puzzled the disciples. I can, I can hear how all of us would be asking, be asking the question, what advantage is it for, for you to leave? To leave? Why, don't Why don't you stay here with us, us? Perhaps, perhaps in our own life? life we, we understand that statement. That statement. You know, you know just, just almost, almost 11, 11 years ago, years ago Kay and, Kay and I moved to Tennessee, Tennessee. And, that and that was the exact sentiment, sentiment that, I that I think my mother had. had. What, what advantage is it? Well, it, well, it wasn't an advantage, advantage, advantage for her. 
the advantage came to, to us. us. Because, because we, we were, were able, able to move, move here, here. Kay came in for free part, part of the ability, ability to work so with so many wonderful students there. there. For, me for me to come and be able to work with the congregation here at South Jackson, that, that was, was an advantage to, to us. us. And so, and so when Jesus asked them a question, you understand, sometimes, sometimes we don't understand why people say what they're going to do. And I think, and I think that's, that's the case here. here. But when, but when I, I think about this great gift, he says, for if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if, but if I, I depart, I will send, will send him, him to, to you. you. How, How valuable it is this gift. Jesus, Jesus says, says the value of the gift is in the fact that, that if I don't leave, he will, he will never, never come. come. And, and brethren, brethren, we ought to be thankful, thankful this, this morning that Jesus left and that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Because, because if, if he had not done that, that where would we be? We would we be hopeless, would we? Because, because we wouldn't, wouldn't have, have this revelation, revelation of his, his word and of his, his truth. And so when, and so when I, think I think about the word of the, the gift, first of all, you've got to notice the personality of this gift. gift. And understand that the Holy Spirit is not some it. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit is not, is not some mysterious, mysterious fictitious, fictitious character. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit is part of the Godhead, the third, the third member, member of the Godhead. The Godhead. And, and as you go through Scripture, scripture and I'm not going to take time to read all these things, things to, you, to you, but the Holy Spirit, Spirit he can, can be grieved. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit can, can be quenched, just, just as a fire can be put out. out. He can, he can be, be lied, lied to. Acts, Acts chapter 5. You remember Ananias and Sapphira? Sapphira? They, they conspired, conspired in their heart to, to lie to, to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. So, so he can be lied to. to. But, but the, the greatest, greatest thing, thing for me about, about the Holy Spirit, Spirit is, is when, when I do go back, back to John chapter, chapter 14, 14 and I look, look at verse 16. 16. And it says, and, and I will pray to the Father, and he will give you another helper, that, that he may, may abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit can, can provide comfort. Let me, Let me illustrate it this way. This way. I, know I know that all, that all of us that are, that are gathered here this, this morning have been, have been faced with, with losing a loved, loved one, one to, to death. death. We've, We've had, had one, one of our, our loved ones from, from this life to the, to the next, next life, life, right? Where, Where did you draw your comfort? Where did you draw your comfort? If your answer is, is I drew my comfort from the Word of God, God then you understand, understand how the Holy, Holy Spirit can, can comfort. He comforts us through, through the written, written Word. word. It is, it is in God's, God's Word that we can, we can learn how, how to depend, depend on God. If the, if the Holy Spirit had not revealed that through inspiration, inspiration to 40 men over 1,600 years, you and I would not be able to be comforted. You see, you see the, Holy the Holy Spirit, His personality, personality and, I and I want to say that His greatest trait is, is the ability to give, to give us comfort. comfort. But secondly, the power of this gift. When you think about the power of the gift, you first heard in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost when the sound of a mighty rushing wind came and the Holy Spirit descended as clothes of fire upon the heads of those people, right? You remember that? The power of the Holy Spirit is in, in fact, fact so, so great. great. When you, when you think, think about, about the miracles and the, and the things, things that the apostles, apostles were able to do after Jesus, Jesus left the earth, where, where did the, the power, power for them to be able to, able to do that come from? It, it came when, when the Holy Spirit, Spirit ascended upon them, them and, they and they were able to do these things, things through the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And as you read your passage in John 16, 16 you understand the come how the, the Godhead comes, comes together, together to, to be able to, to do these things. things. It, was it was God who put things, put things in motion. motion. It was Jesus who brought the plan into action. action. And it, it is the Holy Spirit, Spirit that confirmed the things that Jesus did as, as he lived on this earth. earth. The Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was a great, great power. But the third one, when I think about the personality of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, Spirit think about, think about the, the permanence of that, of that great, great gift. 
Brother, Brother you, you believe, believe the Holy Spirit, Spirit is alive, is alive and working today? today? Do you, do you, do you, do you understand, understand when in Acts chapter, chapter 2 on the day, day of Pentecost was when those, those who were there, some 3,000, when they, they asked the question, question meaning, brother, brother, what, what shall, shall we do after they learned that they, they had put to death, death our, our Lord, Lord and our Savior, Savior the, the very one who came, who came to save them from, from their, their sins? sins. Do you remember, you remember the, answer? the answer? Acts 2, verse 38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. And, and what? what? And, and ye shall, shall receive the gift, the gift of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Not, Not you only, but in all, all who believe. Brother, Brother you and I, I need, need to understand, understand. The, Spirit the Spirit is alive, alive and the Spirit, Spirit is working, working today. today. I, will I will add this so no, so no one, one gets confused. confused. I, I do, do not believe that the, that the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit works in a miraculous, in a miraculous way. way. The way the, way the Spirit, Spirit shows His power, power and, and the permanence is, is what you, you and I carry, carry, carry the Word, the word of, God. of God. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit only works in our, in our life as, as it is related, related to our knowledge of His, of his word. word. That, that which, which was revealed through Inspiration. inspiration. In the permanence of that gift, and I'm thankful that that gift was permanent, because it still works today, and we're going to see in a moment how the Spirit works. Number two, the work of the Spirit. The work of the Spirit really comes in two ways. Number one, the Holy Spirit works in the lives of the sinners. Notice, Notice verse 8 and verse, verse 11. 11. I, I don't think I can explain it any better than what Jesus said in these verses. You Notice he says in John 16, beginning in verse 8. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin. Let me ask you a question. I'll, I'll illustrate this point. point. I just, I just mentioned, mentioned Acts chapter, chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost, right? right? It, 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 did I not just mention that? Did I not mention that the apostles stood, stood up and delivered the first gospel, gospel sermon? And every, and every man who was there, there, there that day heard, heard that in his own language. language. What was the what purpose, was the purpose of, of him hearing, hearing the message in their, in their own language? language. I suggest, I suggest to you the reason was, was so, that so that the Spirit could, could convict them. And I believe, and I believe I'm accurate in saying this, this as I read down to Acts chapter 2. Now remember, I'm going by my memory now, now and if I'm also someone can correct me, I would, I would ask, ask you to. You to. But if my memory serves me correctly, they appealed, they appealed to the great prophet. They appealed, they appealed to, to, the, to the great king, king as, an as an illustration. And then, and then they, they basically said, you murdered, but who came, came to, save to save you? And, and as you go down, down in Acts 2, two if, my if my memory serves me correctly, some, some translation says they, they were cut to the, to the heart. heart. Others, Others translation say, and they, they were, you ready? You ready? Convicted in their, in their heart. heart. So, the so the Holy Spirit, Spirit came to convict the world of sin, and he, and he accomplished his job on that, that day when they, when they cried out, Men and brethren, what, what shall we do? But not, but not only does, does he can convict the world of the sinner of sin, he also can convinces them. them. And when I and think, when I think about, about this aspect of convincing, convincing that is, is, if a person has an honest, a good and honest, honest heart, heart, the Spirit will point them to the, to the truth. truth. Because, because the Word of as we are going to see next, next week from, from John 17, 17 the Bible, the Bible says, says sanctify, sanctify them through thy, thy word, thy word is truth. truth. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit has a part in this, in this sanctifying, sanctifying or setting, setting apart. apart. This, this is, is the convincing. convincing. God's, God's will, will through the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, truth as truth has been, has been revealed. revealed. And it, and it convinces, convinces mankind. It is that, that which, which is, is, it is, is that, that which when we really look at what, what the Bible, Bible says, says convincing, convincing us leads us, us to be convicted, convicted by, by the way. There is, there is a, a correlation between, between those two. two. I, know I don't know in our world today that we, we live in, 
when we when think, we about, think the about the work of, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit this, this great gift, there are many, there are many who, who have a misunderstanding of how, of how he works. works. They don't, they don't want, want to have, have themselves convicted, convicted of what it says. says. It, is it is because they, they look, look into the Word of God. God. And instead, and instead of, of as, as my good brother, brother Gerald says, says keeping things, things in context, context. they take, take things out of context to make it fit what they want, they want it, it to mean, mean not, not what God, God intended it to mean. You see, you see people, people can look in the Word, word and if, and they're, if they're, they're never convinced, convinced it's true, they're, they're, they're never going, going to be convicted. convicted. That's, That's how, how the Spirit works in the life of sinners. sinners. But wait, wait a minute. How about, How about in, in the, the life, life of a of saint? A saint? How, about How about in the life of you and myself, myself also? How, How does, does he work in our life? life? Well, again, again you just read, read this whole, whole section, section of Scripture, verse 7, verse 12, 12 down to verse 15, where Jesus, where Jesus says, says he wants, he wants to, tell to tell them many things, things but they, they cannot bear it, they, they, they cannot understand, understand it. Well, I want, well, you, I want you to know something. When I think about how the Spirit works in the life, in the life of the saint, the saint I understand, understand that there has to be some indwelling. Now, now I, already I already told you, told you what, what my belief is. is. My, my belief is, is the Spirit indwells in our, our life as, as we allow the teachings from the Scripture to fill, to fill our hearts. hearts. Go, back Go back to John, to John 14. 14. Look at, Look at verse 17. 17. It says, says even the spirit of truth whom the world can receive, because, because it neither sees him or knows him. him. But, but you, you know him, him for, for he dwells with, with you and will, will be, be in you. you. I, know I know that in our brotherhood there are those who take, who take different positions on this aspect, aspect of dwelling. dwelling. But, but I, I believe that only he dwells in us as, as we, we allow, allow his, his word to fill, to fill our hearts. hearts. But number, but number two, two, when you go when to, you go to verse, verse 13 of our text, text notice, notice it says, it says however, however, when he, the spirit, spirit of truth, truth has come, he, he will guide you into all, all truth. The spirit, the spirit instructs. instructs. He, he teaches, teaches us the things, the things that we need to, to know. know. Imagine your question. And you can show, show your hands if you would like. How many, How many of you understand 100% of what Scripture, scripture teaches? I don't even see somebody shaking, shaking their head. head. How, How many, many of us might be able, able to comprehend, say, 75% of what, of what the Bible teaches? How about 50%? How about 25%? How about, How about 25%? You understand, you understand what, I'm what I'm saying? None of, None of us, us here, here can, can understand 100%. But what, but what I, I do think... And I, and I believe this is truth. When it, when it comes, comes to the Holy Spirit, Spirit instructing, instructing us, us he, he gives, gives each and every one, one of us a different ability to, to learn and, and, to and to know and to pass, pass knowledge on. on. Wow. While I say, I say none, none of us can do 100%, 100% well, 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 Kelly, Kelly, Kelly maybe you know 50%. 50%. Maybe, maybe I go over to Chip and I don't get him 80%. As a, as a fictitious member. Well, well, we're here to keep Kenny or Brother Mike. Mike. You, you all are pretty, pretty good. good. Maybe, maybe 45, 45, 50%. 50%. And then there's, there's me who is down, is down around, around the 10% number. number. But, what but what happens if I take Chip's percentage, percentage Brother Kelly's percentage, Brother, percentage, Brother, Brother Kenny's percentage, percentage, Brother Mike's percentage, percentage and, and my percentage, percentage. Can, can we help each other understand the Scripture? That's the instructing of the Holy Spirit. You see, all, all of us are at different, different degrees, degrees of our knowledge. But we, but we, we combine our efforts. efforts. We can, we can learn. learn. That's, That's what God, God wants us to do. To that do. is that part of the work of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. But then when, but I, when I go to Acts chapter 1, one and I look at verse 8. Acts chapter, chapter 1 and verse 8. 
Jesus, Jesus says, says, but you, you shall, shall receive, receive power, power when the Holy Spirit, Spirit has come, come upon you, you and you shall, shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Judea and, Samaria, and Samaria, and to the end of the world. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit enabled, enabled these, these men to take, to take the gospel into all, all the world. The Holy Spirit enabled, enabled these men through the knowledge, knowledge that was, that was given, given by, by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Bring, Bring them all things that Jesus, Jesus had taught them for their remembrance. It was, it was the ability, ability of the Holy Spirit to enable these men. men. And we, and we see, see that prophecy and those, and those teachings, teachings of Jesus fulfilled in Acts chapter, chapter 2, correct? correct? But then, but then he, he also, also encourages, encourages us. us. Look, at Look at John 14. 14. In verse 18, it says, says, I will not, not leave orphans. orphans. I, will I will come to you. How many, How many of us, us need, need encouragement? encouragement? How, many How many of us need encouragement every day? Brother, when, Brother, when I, I look at the world we live in, in when I, when look, I at look at all the things, things that, are that are going on in our, in our world, world and, I and I see the evil and the, and the hatred, hatred of, of mankind, mankind towards one another, another. I, don't I don't know about, about you, but I, but need, I need to be comforted. comforted. And, I and I draw my comfort, comfort from the from scripture, scripture in, in knowing, knowing that this, this world, world is not, not my home. home. I draw my comfort, comfort from the scripture, scripture because Jesus has, has told us that he's gone and he's preparing a place for us. And, and that, that the victory is already won according to the book of Revelation. All we need, we need to do according to Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10 is be faithful to death and, and I will give you a crown of life. Oh, oh that, that is a great encouragement knowing that this world is not my own. And you, and you and I, I ought, ought to be thankful, thankful that this, this world, world is not our home. This, this world, world is a place where Satan, Satan is in charge. charge. This, this world, world is a place where Satan, Satan has, has rule. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit through his, his instructing, through his, his enabling, through his encouragement, gives you and I of strangers and, and pilgrims in this world hope to eternal, eternal life. life. And isn't, and isn't that, that what it's all about? about? How, How we live, live our life? life? But then, but then thirdly, thirdly, this morning, this morning notice the wonder, the wonder of the great, of the great gift. gift. We notice, we notice first, first of all, his, his wonder lies in the, in the presence of our, of our life. life. Look at Look verse, verse 17, 17 of John, of John 16. 16. He says, he then, says then, some of his disciples set them set among themselves. themselves. Remember, I said, Remember I said, well, they didn't, they didn't comprehend, they didn't understand? Here's the, Here's the proof. It says, it says what, what is this that he says to us? A little, a little while, while and you will not see me. And again, and again a, little a little while, you will see me. See me. Jesus, Jesus, what do you mean? You say, you say on one hand, hand in a little while, while you're leaving. And on the other hand, you're saying, in a little while, I'm going to come back. He's, he's referring, referring to the fact, fact that he's, he's going, going to keep this, this in context, in context now. now. You, you will understand that when, when he comes back, he's coming, coming back in the form of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Who, who will be the one, one who will, will guide, guide them into all truth? truth? Who, who is, is the one that will be the, be the comforter? He, he is, is the one that is present in our life every day that we live as a faithful Christian. But notice, but notice secondly, secondly here, his, his wonder lies in the permanence of our lives. lives. You, go you go back, back up to verse 16. Where, where it illustrates a little while and you will not succeed again, again, again. A little, a little while, while you, you will succeed because, because, because I go to the Father. Father. What is this he saying about, about this wonder of the great gift? We talked talk about, about its permanence earlier a little bit. About this permanent gift. Brethren, you and I, as children of God, as faith Christians, we have access to the Holy Spirit every day. 
we can, we can turn, turn to the word, word and things, things this lesson, lesson kind of runs together, together point, point after point. point. But, but you and I can, can turn, turn to the word if we, if we have, have an answer, answer a, a question, question about what's going on in life. life. Can, we, can turn we turn to the Bible? Bible? Can, can we turn, turn to the scripture? And can, can we find the answer to life's problems? problems? Can we can find the answer, the answer to, to every problem? problem? That exists, that exists in this world. world. Turn to the book of Ecclesiastes. And I'm not, not going to read Ecclesiastes. That's your homework assignment. assignment. But in, but in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, the great, the great writer, writer Solomon says, says for, for every, every season, season or there, there is, is a season, season for, for everything. everything. Read, read, read that passage. passage. Read, read that, that passage. passage. And, and yes, yes, I, I, I understand, understand someone's someone going to say, Brother Ray, I, I, I look, look for the answer to life's problems, problems but, I but I don't see specifics, specifics in Scripture. In scripture. Dig, a Dig a little deeper. deeper. Most, Most of you know, know that I think, I think about Romans chapter, chapter 15 and verse 4 very, very, very often. often. Remember what, you know that, what that says? says? The things, the things which were written, written Four time, four time were written for, for key, key word, word your, your learning. learning. Brethren, when, when you see something going on in our world, world today, today, look back, look back to the Old Testament, Testament and you'll find something similar to it. I promise you. It may, it may, it may take, take you a little while to find it, but you'll, but you'll find it, it and, you'll and you'll see the answer. answer. But, but I'll, I'll be nice this morning. morning. And I'll, and I'll give, give you, you the answer. answer. The answer is Jesus, Jesus Christ and, and Him crucified. The answer is Jesus that has been, been sent from, from the Father, giving, giving His life, life and, and then sending the Holy Spirit, Spirit so, so that you and I will know what, what to do. The answer is found in Scripture. scripture. The answer, the answer to, to all of life's, life's problems problem is, easy. is easy. We just, we just don't, don't always accept that answer. That answer. But, then but then lastly, lastly the, wonder the wonder of this great, great gift, gift lies in the performance in our lives. lives. Now, I didn't, now, I didn't say, say this at the very beginning. beginning. I did I a little, little bit, I guess. guess. But remember, but remember the, Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit the most, most misunderstood, misunderstood, most neglected, and, and most ignored member of, of the Godhead. Godhead. Did you get, Did you get that? that? The, Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit is, the is the most, most misunderstood, misunderstood, the most, the most neglected, neglected, and, and the, the most often ignored member of, of the Godhead. Godhead. We focus, we focus a lot on God, God don't we? We focus, we focus on God, God who, in, who the in the beginning, beginning created, created the heavens and the earth. We focus on God. We focus all throughout the Old Testament on how God would work in the lives of his, his people, the Israelites, the Jews. And how did God, God in the, in the Old Testament, Testament kept telling, telling us through the prophets, prophets that there is one coming? coming. And, we, and talk we talk a lot about the one who came, came Jesus, Jesus, don't we? We have, we have four, four books, books, the Gospel, gospel record, record, that record for, for us the life, life that Jesus lived on this earth. earth. And, and we, we focus, focus a lot on those, those four books. books. But Jesus, but Jesus said, said there's another one, one of us, and I'm, and I'm going to send him back, back to you. And we, and we ignore, ignore the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Or we, or we, 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 maybe, maybe we don't ignore, ignore it. it. Maybe, maybe we neglect what the, what the Holy Spirit really, really means to, to us. us. Brother, let understand, understand something. something. I understand, I understand without, without God, without, without Christ, Christ, I have, I have nothing. nothing. But make, make sure you understand without the Holy Spirit, we have nothing too. It took, it took all the three members of, of the Godhead to carry, carry out the plan that was foreordained before, before the, foundation the foundation of the world. It, it takes all three to bring, to bring that, that plan 
and into to fruition, fruition and to completion. We need to understand, understand that in our lives, the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit is the, is the one that's, that's the most active. active. And when, and when you realize, realize you need to understand that. that. So, so this morning, morning as we come, come to a close, close I ask you a question. question. Where did, Where did this message, message find you today? today? Did the message, did the message come, come to you as you maybe you're struggling, struggling in sin? In sin? Or, maybe or maybe the message, message came to you and you've already been added, added to the church, the church and been found, found in Christ? In Christ? But you're, but you're living, living in your own power and your own energy and you're, you're, you're living after your own flesh, flesh instead, instead of the way God, God would have you live? Did the message, Did the message find, find you in Christ? Christ? But maybe, maybe you're struggling with something else. else. If your answer, answer to any of those three, three questions, questions is yes, yes and you're struggling in sin and you're not in Christ, Christ this, this morning, morning you can come and you can be added to the family of God by being baptized into Christ, Christ for remission of your sins. sins. Yes, yes, you have, have to make a determination to repent, to, repent, to lead the way that you're living, leave that sinful life, and begin, and begin living the way of God. Allowing, allowing the power, the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit to convict and, to and to continue to convince you about what's, about what's right. Or perhaps, or perhaps this morning you're here and maybe you, maybe you fall into one of the last two questions. questions. If, you're if you're struggling, struggling in sin, you need, you need to, repent to repent again and confess those, those sins. sins. Let your, Let your brother, brother pray with you. you. Let, us, Let pray us pray for you. you. And I, and I think sometimes, sometimes when we offer the, the invitation, we forget about this last one. one. You know, you know we, we made, an out, we made, made our, our announcements early about those we know that are struggling with some, with some sickness, sickness or some illness, or some illness right? right? There's when there's something else, else that you're struggling with, do you need, you need the, prayers the prayers of your brethren? You see, you see it is through the power of each other, other that we that can get to heaven. No one's getting there by himself. It takes, it takes all, all of us working, working together to make, to make it to heaven. This, this morning, if you have the need to respond to the invitation, our prayer is simple. simple. We pray, we pray that, that you would come, make your need known as we stand, as we sing.